All right, everybody, what's going on? It is Tuesday night and it is trivia time. Yeah, my name is Rob. I'm your host. Welcome to Trivia Tuesday. Tim Curry trivia is our theme. Big shout out to Anya RWS for picking this one. 20 questions dedicated to one of the most iconic actors, voice actors, most amazing personalities, most amazing talents we've ever known. And oh my God, I had so much fun putting this one together. I hope you have fun playing this one. 20 questions stand between you and ultimate glory. It is on like Donkey Kong tonight. What's going on, everybody? How you doing? How you feeling? Push the fishermen in the house. Anya RWS, Mizuo, AMVs, Alexa Machine. Anya RWS, what's going on? Everybody in the chat, give me a shout out. Say what's up. How you doing? I'm everybody. How's everybody doing? How you feeling? Talk to me, chat. A lot of people here. Awesome. Like, so what do you guys think? Doing a warm up with words on stream instead of just blank. I'll just leave it. Like, I think I could just do that for a couple. Like, just like start with words on stream for a couple minutes. Just to, you know, just to start off as a warm up. What's up, Mandy Ray? How you doing? Caltam. Oh, man, I can't wait. This is a great pick. It's going to be a great, great, great night. Mandy Lynn 2181 is in the house. How y'all doing? S. Keith, last night's big winner. How you doing? Great to see you and thanks for coming through. Uh, also got to give a big shout out to Tipsy Tune and DJ Spree. Oh my God. If you haven't seen last night's episode of Celebrity Quiz Match, go check out that replay. Check out the VOD. It's going to go up on the YouTube channel too. And uh, if you haven't seen the Smart Trivia YouTube, definitely check it out. Link should be popping up in the chat on your RWS is right on top of it. Beautiful. All the replays go on there, especially the Celebrity Quiz Match one. So definitely go there. So if you want to check out replays from a couple months ago, YouTube, that's where it's at. So everybody check those out. Oh, Zyla Girls here. What's up, BJX? How you doing? Um, I mean, Tim Curry's done a lot. There's gonna be some questions. Y'all are gonna be like, what? It's gonna happen. It's a theme night. Some of the questions are gonna be a little bit harder. That's just sometimes happens. And tonight, oh yeah, man, this is a good one. Good one for sure. Lexus Machine, yeah, mod hype, no doubt. It's gonna be great, absolutely great. Um, everybody, hope you're feeling all right. It is Tuesday night. Don't forget, we're coming back with another pop culture trivia challenge tomorrow. 20 questions stand between, uh, between you, Ultimate Gloria t-shirt, and a pride pack of hot sauces. So yeah, that's coming up tomorrow night, Thursday night. We're back with phrasing. Uh, but yo, tonight, it is Tim Curry Trivia Night. And if you want to get in tonight's game, all you need to do is enable the Quiz Kit extension, the Quiz Kit overlay. Just mouse over the screen, look for the right-hand side where the Quiz Kit logo is. If you've already played before, chances are you're good to go and you're already all set so yeah should be all right but if not just double check especially if you run a cleaning software if you cleared your browser history all that good stuff if you wiped out your cookies uh yeah whatever just double check make sure you click the quiz kit logo look for the box to open up look for the toggle switch that says visible click the switch and then where it says manage access right below that click grant access yeah click manage access and then grant access to get your name on the leaderboard so take a minute get yourself set up make sure you're still good to go on uh, mobile instructions if you're on a mobile device Look for the quiz kit logo in the top right corner of the chat. Open that up from there. And uh, the mobile instructions will come right up over there in a second. So everybody get in the game. We're going to get it started in just a minute. Again, 20 questions dedicated to the career 
of Tim Curry. And there is a lot. There is so much. There is, and I mean, tons of it. Some of y'all have forgotten. Corn Relish is in the house. What's up, Corn Relish? How are you doing? Big shout out to Corn Relish, another celebrity quiz match winner in the house. Yes. Also, I'm pretty sure Corn Relish uh, is the celebrity quiz match all time high score champion with what was it? You, you, your score against Bradley was 19 to 18 which actually puts Bradley in second place on that list. Yeah, uh, but Corn Relish is in the house. Way to be. How y'all doing? Um, yes, hell, the resume is a voice actor. Yeah, exactly, BJX. Let's put it this way. There's one round dedicated just to voice acting. There's one red round. that uh, The rounds are television, uh, voice acting, um, movies, video games, and movie quotes. So those are the five, those are the five categories. I don't think, I'm not sure if that's the order off the top of my head but we are going to have a blast. So everybody, make sure you're in the game. Those, again, are the mobile device instructions. Get yourself set up. Get yourself set up. Make sure you're good to go. Take a second. Make sure you are in the game. Uh, yeah, hopefully you did everything and are all set up. And if you did it, if you are set up, if you click the Quizkit extension, you click the toggle switch that is visible, and you hit manage access, grant access, all that good stuff, you should be seeing the overlay popping up any second now down on the lower quarter of the screen. And again, the way the game works is the faster you click, the more you score. I'm going to ask a question. 20 seconds are on the clock. As that 20 seconds ticks down off the clock, so does the point value for each question. So yeah, like I said before, the more you click, the faster you click, the more you score. But the catch is the faster you click on the incorrect answer, the more points you lose. That's right. You get it wrong, you lose points. And the faster you click on the wrong answer, the more points you lose. So you all know the way we say it around here, if you don't know, let it go. Don't go negative. Take that zero. Don't lose points. It's not worth it. Don't, don't start burying yourself down. Uh, yeah, if you don't know the answer, if you don't know, let it go. Don't go negative. Take a zero because, yep, 20 seconds is on the clock and the point value ticks down with each question. Fast you click again, the more points it's worth. If you get it right, you get the points, but if you get it wrong, you lose points. So if you don't know, let it go. Don't go negative, take the zero and wrong answers only in the chat. No spoilers, no freebies, no giveaways, but wrong answers all night long. Everybody have fun with those for sure. Rob Switch is in the house. What's up, Rob Switch? How are you doing tonight? Great to see you and thanks for coming through. Big shout out to Rob Switch hosting the roast last month. That was absolutely epic. Dude, can't thank you enough for doing that. Oh man, Rob Switch. Oh yeah, what's up, bro? Great to see you and I'm so glad you're here, Rob Switch. You are so smart indeed. Um, yo, Cedar Point. That's it's starting to look. Yo, we're gonna we're gonna start working on that trip. Uh, maybe in the fall, but yeah, dude. Um, all right. So everybody, get in the game. Hopefully, you see down below. Hashtag Are you smart of Tim Curry trivia again? The faster you click, the more you score. Four questions, four multiple choice answers pop up when I ask the question. Uh, I think I pretty much got it all set. Trivia, uh, yo, it's Rob Switch. It's Tim Curry trivia. We got 20 questions dedicated to Tim Curry tonight. And uh, round number one, we are going to start the fun with the round dedicated all to television. That's right. 20 questions, the first four chances to score dedicated to Tim Curry's appearances on television. And yeah, that's right. The picture from it, which was a made for TV movie. So, all right. Again, faster you click, more you score. First four questions are in the game. Y'all know what I need right now, though. If you want to start the game, if you're ready to party y'all want to get this game if you're feeling it smarties let me see all the emotes in the chat spam the emotes light up the chat let me see some tipsy tune emotes some dj spree emotes let me see some rob switch emotes everybody show me their favorite emotes all the pride emotes we unlocked last year all those amazing emotes let me see where you're at smarties let me see it in the chat that's what i'm talking about on your rws push the fisherman randy ray unicorns that's what's up corn relish Alexis Machine, Mizuo AMVs, good to see you as always. Glad you're feeling better, Mizuo. You are back. Great to see you. Zyla Girl, keep those emotes going. Unicorns, what's good? How are you doing tonight? Great to see you. Thanks for coming through. Spam those emotes. <laughs> Bob and Mermaid 55, how are you tonight? Great to see y'all. Anya RWS with the Saffron Olives. I love to see it. All right, everybody. Round number one. Jamantha Claus in the house, having fun. Everybody. Calatam, thanks for much. Thanks so much. CB4K, ready to go. Go everybody, everybody, unicorns with the disco balls. I love it. Yes, yes, yes. All right, DJ's Free Pride Disco. Love it, love it, love it. Question number one, we're going to start the fun. Don't forget the faster you click, the more you score. 
No spoilers, no giveaways, no freebies. Wrong answers only in the chat. Everybody, where are you at? Let's do it. Question number one. Here we go. What is the title of the 1986 British made-for-TV movie based on a children's book by Jill Murphy that starred for Rizza Balk, Charlotte Ray, Diana Rigg, and featured Tim Curry as the Grand Wizard, the only male character to appear in the film? Question number one. We are starting this fun. One is the, what is the name of that 1986 British made-for-TV movie based on a children's book? Uh, children's book by Jill Murphy starred for Rosa Balk, Charlotte Ray, Diana Rigg, and featured Tim Curry as the Grand Wizard, the only male character to appear in the film. Question number one, we are starting off the fun with a good one. Yeah, what do you got, everybody? Show me what you got. Mandy Lynn, one of your all-time favorites. Love to hear it. And just like that, first question, time is up. This time around, you're getting points. Alexis Machine going with another Veruza Balk movie where she had to deal with witches. That was Return to Oz, but this time around, we're talking about The Worst Witch. That's right, The Worst Witch. Way to go if you got it. Way to go if you knew. Of course, it was rebooted as a Netflix series not too long ago. But yes, that's right, The Worst Witch. It's M2022. Whoa. How are you doing tonight? Great to see you, and thanks for coming through. Yeah, all right. Party people in the place to be. That's what's up. It is The Worst Witch. That's right, Feruza Balk. Diana Rigg, Charlotte Ray, Mrs. Garrett from The Facts of Life. Like, yeah, that's what's up. So everybody, that's the first question of the game. Way to go if you got it. Let's keep it going. Question number two, second question of the night. Here it comes, here we go. Based on the adventures of one of Agatha Christie's most memorable characters, what is the title of the series that aired on ITV in Britain from 1989 to 2013 and featured Tim Curry as the murder victim, Lord Boynton, in the 2009 episode, Appointment with Death? Question number two. Based on the adventures of one of Agatha Christie's most memorable characters, what is the title of the series that aired on ITV in Britain from 1989 to 2013 and featured Tim Curry as the murder victim, Lord Boynton, in the 2009 episode, Appointment with Death? Fast you click more you score which one is it only one of those is the correct answer show me what you got players i got the christie's gym bob love it mizuo time is up and points going out to you this time question number two if you knew the right answer correct answer this time of course being agatha christie's poirot that's right hercule poirot way to go if you got it way to go if you knew that's right hercule poirot poirot po yeah poirot uh, french words mess me up i'm sorry <laughs> yes that's right uh yeah ran for what 24 years was the total uh, 15 seasons, and each one is like an hour-long movie, or hour to 90-minute movie based on an Agatha Christie uh, Poirot novel, so yeah, yeah, way to go if you got that one, way to go if you knew, where's my PBS fans in the house, love you guys out there, all right, here we go, question number three, next question in the TV round, we're keeping it going, what's the title of the late 1960s CBS sitcom remade by the WB for one season in 2002 that starred Tim Curry as Mr. Giles French, the English butler to a, Man to a Manhattan bachelor that suddenly gained custody of his nephew and nieces, question number three. What is the title of the late 1960s CBS sitcom remade by the WB for one season in 2002 starred Tim Curry as Mr. Giles French, Giles French, I can't remember how they said it on the show, the English butler to a Manhattan bachelor that suddenly gained custody of his nephew and nieces. Question number three, fast you click, the more you score, which one of these is the name of that TV show? Again, 1960s CBS sitcom remade by the WB and just like that, time is up everybody and points are going out to you. Question number three only ran for one seasons and it was the remake of a show known as family affair that's right family affair also the person who played the manhattan bachelor that's gary cole uh lumberg in office space he was um mike brady in the brady bunch i was like who's the brady bunch dad i couldn't remember the, name off the top of my head i couldn't remember mike brady off the top of my head but yes that's right family affair and oh my gosh everybody got it right Firing up the party light. Way to go, everybody who answered the question scored a point there. And that's right, the answer was family affair. So way to go, you guys, way to go. That's what I'm talking about. Question number three is done. Hope you're all having fun. Here is your next chance to score. Here comes 
Question number four. And what was the title of the 1997 ABC series starring Tim Curry as an eccentric soap opera actor down on his luck that also featured Annie Potts and Steve Carell in the cast, but was canceled after only three episodes? Question number four. What was the title of the 1997 ABC series starring Tim Curry as an eccentric soap opera actor down on his luck that also featured Annie Potts and Steve Carell in the cast, but it was canceled after only three episodes? Question number four, this is the last one in the TV round. This is a deep cut for sure. Corn Relish, love Gary Cole. Oh, he's awesome, absolutely awesome. Lumberg is just the best character. Like, just the delivery of that character being so awkwardly awful is just, Gary Cole just kills it. Yes, no, I love Gary Cole, amazing act actor, but tonight we're talking about Tim Curry, and this time we're talking about the Tim Curry-led sitcom over the top that's right it was called over the top yeah all right so yeah and you see that's uh all the way on the right side that's steve carell um and i think oh gosh that's um what's his name peterman uh oh gosh what's the name of the actor that played jay peterman in seinfeld uh because i'm pretty sure that's wow. him yeah what's up on your audio with the wow yeah there it is early that's right <laughs> That's it. All right. All right. John O'Hurley. Thank you. Mappy 1984. Corn Relish. Awesome tracks. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yes. John O'Hurley. Took me a minute. No, I couldn't remember that. All right. So that's round number one. We are done. Let's keep it going. Round number two. Here we go. And uh, this time the category is voice acting. That's right. Voice acting. So uh, yeah, let's see. Scoring update. It's on top of the leaderboard. Mizuo AMVs, Corn Relish, BJX 001, Unicorns, Zyla Girl, Mappy, SK2210, Mandy Ray Designs, Jamantha Claus, and Catlett Tam. So there we go with the top 10. Again, five, six, seven, eight. We're talking voice acting, all of his voice acting performances. You can see him there doing Nigel Thornberry. And uh, yeah, five, six, seven, eight. Who do we appreciate? Smarties, Smarties everyone smarties thank you all so much for coming thanks for being here thanks for making last night so amazing thanks for making tonight so much fun everybody thank you so much for being all part of this and keeping this channel going i appreciate all the love all the support all the time so thank you so much everybody we're going to keep this going five six seven eight that's right it's an entire round dedicated to voice acting so uh here we go i just gotta check one. Oh wait there Check one. All right, there it is. All right, cool. All right, cool. So round number two, again, voice acting. Uh, we got Mizuo AMVs on the top of the leaderboard. Corn Relish, BJX, Unicorns, and Xyla Girl rounding out the top five. Mappy, 1984, SK2210, Mandy, Ray Designs, Jamantha Claus, and Callie Tam rounding out that top ten. Everybody, let's do it again. Question number five. Here we go. Next question coming up. In addition to providing the voice of Captain Hook on Fox's Peter Pan and the Pirates, Tim Curry also provided the voice of a villainous pirate in the 1990s on what Hanna-Barbera fantasy series? Question number five, what is the title of that Hanna-Barbera fantasy series? Come on now, what you got? Question number five. In addition to providing the voice of Captain Hook on Fox's Peter Pan and the Pirates, Tim Curry also provided the voice of a pirate on what other Hanna-Barbera produced show? All right, time is just about up. And yep, there it is. Time is up on question number five, and you're getting points this time if you knew the correct answer. This time we were talking about the Pirates of Dark Water. That's right, the Pirates of Dark Water. Uh, yeah, Hanna-Barbera produced series about pirates on, I forget what the name of the planet was, but it was like a fictional, it was like pirates meets aliens in outer space on like a fictional planet. It was really cool. Definitely one of the most unique things I think Hanna-Barbera has ever done. It was really out there, but I loved it. Absolutely loved it. So there you go. Pirates of Dark Water. That's question number five. Let's keep going. Question number six. Next question of the game. Here it comes. Everybody, what is the name of the Entity of Destruction voiced by Tim Curry that serves as the primary villain in the animated film Fern Gully, The Last Green Forest? Question number six. What's the name of that Entity of Destruction voiced by Tim Curry serves as the primary villain in the animated film Fern Gully, The Last Green Forest? Question number six. What you got? Oh, yeah, RWS calling this one an easy one. All right, Corn Relish going for the slap. 
That was easy. All right. And time is up. Question number six. What is the name of that entity? Uh, yeah, the entity of destruction. It is, of course, Hexus. That's right. Hexus from Fern Gully, the last rainforest. That's right. Hexus. The nothing. That was from uh, the never-ending story. Plagueis. That is one of the uh, other lesser-known Darths from Star Wars. Aku is the no! shape-shifting master of evil from Samurai Jack. Uh, and it's M2022 flexing the score. Love to see it. But yeah, question number six, Hexus. That's the name of the character right there. Yeah, way to go. That's right. Question number six, Hexus, Fern Gully, the last Fort rainforest. Um, evil. <laughs> so many great villains, though. Voiced by Tim Curry. But let's keep it moving. Question number seven, lucky number seven. Yes, Darth Plague is the wise. Mizu AMV remembers. <laughs> All right, here we go. Question number seven. Next one up. What is the name of this villain? Voiced by Tim Curry. Question number seven. That's all I got to do. What is the name of this villain? Voiced by Tim Curry. Here you go. Fast and click for your score. All right. What is the name of this villain? Voiced by Tim Curry. Only a few seconds left. And yep, time is up on the question. And you're getting points if you knew question number seven. Correct answer was, in fact, Professor Calamitous. That's right, Professor Calamitous from Jimmy Neutron. Yeah, that's what's up. Hey, Mellow Graphics, how are you doing tonight? Great to see you and thanks for coming through. Uh, yeah, that's right. Big shout out to Mellow Graphics. The name of that villain, that's right, it's Professor Calamitous. Yes, Jimmy Neutron's nemesis, Jimmy Neutron's rival. Way to go if you got that one. Way to go if you do. And that's question number seven. We got one more left in the round. Then we're going to take a quick break. Everybody, here we go. Question number eight. Let's go. It's the Ocho. Question number eight. Which Star Wars character was voiced by Tim Curry during the fourth and fifth seasons of the animated series, The Clone Wars? Question number eight. Which Star Wars character was voiced by Tim Curry during the fourth and fifth seasons of the animated series, The Clone Wars? Question number eight. Fast, you click more, you score. Which Star Wars character was voiced by Tim Curry on The Clone Wars? BJX, it was Jar Jar, yes! Alexis Machine, great jokes, think alike, I love it. Keep it going, where's those wrong answers in the chat? Keep it going, come on. <laughs> time is up on the eighth question. This is the last one of the round, and this time points are going to you if you knew the correct answer. Question number eight, the answer is Chancellor Palpatine. That's right, AKA Darth Sidious. That's, uh, yeah, the evil emperor himself, and I'm firing up the party light because everybody who answered that question got it right. So 10 players took that shot. 10 players scored that point. Way to go, everybody. That's what's up, yeah. <laughs> That's BS, it was Charger. I love it, Rob Switch. All right, everybody, and just like that, round number two, that's a wrap. We are done with eight questions. We've got 12 more to go. Uh, yeah, Ooh. plenty more chances to score coming up right after this. So everybody, grab a drink, cut, grab a snack. We are coming back with more Smart Trivia right after this. So stay tuned, everyone. Oh, I see you in the chat there. I see Cat Chats and Rob Switch talking about a rematch on the Celebrity Quiz Match rematch. I think that can be done. Uh, let's... Yeah, absolutely. I mean, DJ Spree and Tipsy Tune are already like rematch, and there's a couple people out there that I think might want a second go at it. I know Rainbow Paint and Meg Brienne, especially with the technical difficulties, I'm pretty sure TSB and Dugao would love to go at it, do it again. So uh, there, there may be a rematch series in the works, but round number three is video games. We got Mizuo, BJX, Corn Relish, Unicorns, Mappy 1984, SK2210, Mandy Ray Designs, Xyla Girl, Push the Fisherman, and Jamantha Claus rounding out the top 10 this time as we get ready to do it again. Uh, yeah, 9, 10, 11, and 12. All of these are dedicated to Tim Curry's voice acting performances or live performances in video games. There's a lot of them. So yeah, this is a whole category. There's enough to make a whole category here. So everybody, here we go. Number nine coming up. Here it is. 
What is the name of the real-time strategy video game series published by Electronic Arts that featured a third installment with a celebrity-filled cast including George Takai as Emperor Yoshiro and Tim Curry as Soviet Premier Anatoly Cherdenko? Question number nine. What do you got? The faster you click, the more you score. Anya RWS, all right. That was easy. I know I've talked about this game on stream plenty of times, so. That was easy. I may have asked this as a trivia question a couple weeks ago, months ago, something like that, or something similar, but yeah, all right, two easy button slaps, and uh, points are going out to you this time. Question number nine, if you knew the correct answer, was in fact Command & Conquer Red Alert. That's right, Command & Conquer Red Alert 3 is the game, the third installment, epic. I mean, epic. Seriously, you guys, I, I'm honestly, I might just do a playthrough with it. I might, like, I seriously might, like, just, I have the game, I own it. I might do a playthrough with it because it's just so amazing. Like, I might, like, set up, like, a, just like a Saturday afternoon where we play just to see all the cutscenes with Tim Curry, all the cutscenes with J.K. Simmons is on the American side. Um, Jenny McCarthy is in it. <laughs> like, I mean, everybody. It's insane. There are so many, so many great actors in this movie, in, in, this, in this video game. It is a star-studded cast like no other. Um, there's a couple of guys that are in it that's like, wait a minute. I know that guy's name. He's in everything. Like, there are two guys that, like, make their money playing Eastern Europeans that aren't Eastern European, but that's what they do in every other movie they're in. And, yeah, no, they're, of course, they're in this one, too. Uh, everybody, yeah. Oh, my God. Command and Conquer Red Alert. So that's the game. That's question number nine. Points going to you if you got it. Let's do it again. Question number 10. Here it comes. Which, oh, sorry. Despite not appearing in the original film, Tim Curry provided the voice for the titular character in the video game adaptation of which popular movie released in 2004? Question number 10. Here we go. Despite not appearing in the original film, Tim Curry provided the voice for the titular character in the video game adaptation of what popular movie released in 2004? There you go. Four movies all released in 2004. Which movie's video game adaptation did Tim Curry do a voice of in, in yeah, do a voice despite not appearing in the original film? And time is up on the 10th question of the night, and you're getting points this time if you need the right answers. Xyla Girl with 100 biddies cheered. Thank you so much, Xyla Girl. And points are going to, if you knew, it was Lemony Snicket's A Series of Unfortunate Events. That's right. He was, he played, he took over for Jude Law, who played Lemony Snicket, uh, while Jim Carrey and a couple of other main cast members did reprise their roles for the video game adaptation. Jude Law did not, and it was Tim Curry that did the voice of Lemony Snicket himself. So way to go if you got it, way to go if you knew. Yes, Xyla Girl is always the correct answer, Jamantha Claus. You can never go wrong with Xyla Girl. That's definitely a great answer. So that's question number 10. That means it's... <laughs> That means it's time to turn this game up to 11. So everybody, let's crank it. Here we go. Question number 11. What is the title of the point and click adventure video game first released for PCs and later the Sega Saturn that stars Tim Curry as Dr. Frankenstein and has the player controlling a newly created Frankenstein monster? Question number 11. What is the title of that point and click adventure video game first released for PCs and later the Sega Saturn that stars Tim Curry as Dr. Excuse me, Dr. Frankenstein. No, it's Dr. Frankenstein and has the player controlling a newly created Frankenstein monster. What do you got, everybody? What is the title of that video game? Question number 11. We are turning it up. Show me what you got. Push the fisherman knows the answer. That's what's up. And just like that, once again, time is up on another question and you're going to get points if you do the correct answer. And this time it is... Follow Smart Trivia on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. That's right, because we give away one answer before every single game show. And yeah, we put that one on all the social medias because the correct answer, Frankenstein through the eyes of the monster. Yeah, that is definitely a long forgotten game, but everybody, way to go. I'm firing up the party light because everybody who took that shot got it right. Way to go, everybody. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Thank you so much for all the follows, all the likes, all the retweets, all the shares, all the mentions in the stories. 
Guys, everybody in the channel, it's growing. It's growing, it's growing. We're getting bigger, we're doing better, and I love it, and I love all the support. Keep it up, keep it going. Thank you so much, everybody. And yeah, thank you for all the likes, all the shares. It really means a lot, especially all the new subscribers on YouTube. I see you guys out there. Thank you so much. All the thumbs up, all the likes I've been getting on YouTube lately. I mean, you know, it's like five likes a video, but it's more than the zero than it was a month ago. So thank you so much, everybody, for all the support and on all the social medias. Um, and yeah, we give away one answer before every single game show. Also post it in the Discord if you want to drop the link in the chat. If you're not a part of the Smart Trivia Discord, that's where all the latest updates, all the latest happenings are. That's also where the double VIP subscriber only chat is. That's where Trivia Tuesday themes like this get chosen. We do giveaways. I started doing it monthly. So right now the July giveaway is open. All you need to do is click on the Lily emote. You just got to, all you have to do is react to a post and you're entered to win one of four uh, you're gonna, four people are going to win a choice of their choice of uh, yeah trivia tuesday giveaway uh, trivia tuesday game so um trivia tuesday theme so yeah that's coming up but everybody there's the link for the discord join the discord that's where it's at everybody all right that's question number 11 we got one more left in the round let's do it question number 12 here it comes what is the name of the new orleans bookstore Excuse me, New Orleans bookstore owner that was the primary protagonist in three point and click adventures published by Sierra Online and was voiced by Tim Curry in the first and third installments of the series. Question number 12 What is the name of that New Orleans bookstore owner, primary protagonist in three point and click adventures published by Sierra Online, voiced by Tim Curry in the first and third installments of the series? Smarties, again, the faster you click, the more you score. Mappy 1984. That was easy. I got gotcha. you. And just like that, time is up. Mappy, clicking the, hitting the easy button. I didn't think anybody was going to even heard of this game. This is definitely one of the older ones. Um, oh, wow. Community challenge, 25% complete. We are at a quarter million points, half a quarter way. To the slumber party that's amazing you guys have been killing it thank you so much and question number 12 of course the game i didn't think anybody could have ever possibly have heard of at this point in our lives is gabriel knight that's right gabriel knight mappy watching a lot of twitch retro love it that's yeah points are going to if you got gabriel knight in a while all right a lot of a couple players got that one right love to see it awesome 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 and just like that yeah can oh wow i can contribute can i contribute no, I can't contribute. Yeah, only viewers can contribute. All right. I had a contribute button pop up. I'm like, oh, wow. All right, but yes, Gabriel Knight. Way to go. I've got a spook 8604. Oh, remember that too. I mean, I, I, yeah, all right. I, 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 I played a lot of Sierra Point and Click Adventures, and I don't even remember this game. That's like, but that's me. Anyway, everybody, we are now going to get to the part of the night. I'm sure a lot of you have been waiting for rounds four and five. Round number four, your next chance is to score. And yeah, this is the round that's dedicated to the movies. That's right, movie round. We got BJX now on top of the leaderboard. Corn Relish, Mizu OMVs, Unicorns, Mappy 1984, SK 2210, Mandy Ray Designs, Zyla Girl, Calatam, and Alexis Machine rounding out that top 10. And yes, this is one round dedicated to Tim Curry's appearances in movies. There's a lot of them. And I know you're expecting to hear from some of them. You may not get all of them tonight. Uh, eight more questions dedicated to movie stuff, but there's a lot. There is a lot, and uh, this is going to be awesome. So again, next round is dedicated to Tim Curry's appearances in movies, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Your next four chances to score. I can neither confirm nor deny at this point. <laughs> BJX, love it. Oh, and that's awesome. I saw that you mentioned in the chat earlier that you were a shadow caster for an RHPS. Uh, that is so, so cool. Um... That's awesome. Yeah, uh, just, so there's a Magic the Gathering card called Time Warp. And every time I've opened one in a pack and I've gotten two now and uh, yes, yeah, so I've gotten two now. And every time it's let's do every, every time, every time. Uh, but everybody, let's go. Questions number 13, 14, 15, and 16. Tim Curry movies. Here we go. Question number 13. Going back with another deep cut. In the 1985 movie Legend, what magical item does the evil Lord of Darkness, played by Tim Curry, send his goblin Blix to retrieve so that he may cast the world into an eternal night? Question number 13. In the 1985 movie Legend, what magical item does the evil Lord of Darkness, played by Tim Curry, send his goblin Blix to retrieve 
so that he may cast the world into an eternal night. Question number 13. Faster you click, the more you score. Show me what you got, smarties. All right, time is up. And this time, points are going out to everybody. If you knew question number 13, the correct answer is in fact, well, I'll just let him tell you. You must find them for me and destroy them. What do they look like, Lord? Fool! <laughs> let this serve to remind you. They are each crowned with a single horn reaching straight to heaven. I get the point, Lord. Bring the horns to me. All right. So, yeah, that's right. The horn of a unicorn. Calatam, the tears of Tom Cruise. That's a good one. That's a great one. Because Tom Cruise is in this movie, too. So, yeah, that's right. Question number 13. The horn of a unicorn. Way to go if you got that one. Way to go if you knew. Yeah, I'm... And yeah, Legend, as the Lord of Darkness, absolutely amazing. That just thunderous, booming voice of evil, absolutely amazing. So let's keep it moving. Next chance to score question number 14. Here it comes, everybody. Following his appearance as Dr. Petrov in 1990s, The Hunt for Red October, Tim Curry played another Eastern European naval officer, Major Vladikov, in what 1997 nautical comedy? Question number 14. Following his appearance as Dr. Petrov in 1990s, The Hunt for Red October, Tim Curry played another Eastern European naval officer, Major Vladikov, in what 1997 nautical comedy? Four choices popped up. Fast and click, more you score. Yeah, Tears of Tom Cruise. That is the... That's my favorite wrong answer so far tonight, hands down. That's a good one. Good one, Calatam. All right, and just like that, time is up. And points are going out to you this time. Question number 14, if you knew the correct answer, was Mikhail's Navy. That's right, Mikhail's Navy. And let me guess, Mappy, you were in between Mikhail's Navy and Down Periscope. Because they both came out of roughly around the same time, from what I remember. Uh, one had Tom Arnold, one had Kelsey Grammer. They both had ridiculous casts and plots. But yeah, McHale's Navy was the name of the film. Way to go if you got it. Way to go if you knew. That's question number 14. <laughs> yeah, no, I honestly, that, I, I know, I loved, I loved Down Periscope too. These both were great movies. Like, corny as hell but so much fun i mean clearly tom arnold is a retired naval officer coming out of retirement just to do a war game exercise with tim curry oh god it's awesome oh spook 8604 makes clicks make all of us cry but it's okay you got a couple more chances to score we got a couple more in this round here it comes number 15 again the faster you click the more you score here we go question number 15 next one up what movie was the following screenshot taken from that's it. What movie is this? What movie was this screenshot taken from? Faster you click, the more you score. Wrong answers only in the chat, please. Faster you click, the more you score. Again, what movie was this screenshot right here taken from? Xyla Girl, Mikhail's Navy, the TV show, was from the 70s. The movie that they made as a reboot was from 97. Mandy Lynn, yep, that's Clue. And time is up on question number 15. Again, all I needed to do is let you, let us, all you need to do is tell me what movie that screenshot was from. And points are going out to you this time. If you knew that correct answer, it's Charlie's Angels. That's right, Charlie's Angels. Way to go if you got it. Way to go if you do. That's right, Charlie's Angels. That, those were Lucy Liu's feet. That's right. Unicorn's nose. That's Lucy Liu's feet right there. <laughs> that scene got a little weirder after that. Oh, man. <laughs> Question number 16. One more left in the round. One more left in the round. Then we're going to take a break and come on back with the final four. Here we go. Question number 16. And your question is, in the film Scary Movie 2, Tim Curry's character, Professor Oldman, is a parody of the character Dr. David Marrow, played by Liam Neeson in what 1999 thriller? Question number 16, in the movie Scary Movie 2, in the film Scary Movie 2, Tim, Car Tim Curry's character, Professor Oldman, is a parody of the character Dr. David Marrow, played by Liam Neeson in what 1999 thriller? Question number 16, what do you got? TV was the 60s, thank you, Bob and Mermaid. Mikhail's Navy was a 60s TV show. Gotcha. Cool. All right, and 
And time is up on question number 16. Tim Curry's movie, uh, Scary Movie 2 character is based on the character Liam Neeson played in the movie The Haunting. That's right, the 1999 thriller The Haunting. Oh, wow, and a lot of players went with the house on Haunted Hill, but no, it was The Haunting, also with Catherine Zeta-Jones, Owen Wilson, uh, Lily Taylor is in it. Uh, yeah. I remember I saw this movie and the Blair Witch Project like the same week in 1999 because they were both they both hit theaters around the same time. I loved Blair Witch and I hated this movie. I thought this movie was so bad. Uh, I just wanted to just bust up Owen Wilson's nose. It was just the most annoying thing through the entire movie. I'm like, this is real? Like, I don't know. <laughs> I thought it was obnoxious. But uh, yeah, that's right. It's The Haunting. And it's, uh, re I mean, House on Haunted Hill and The Haunting were both remakes of earlier movies. Uh, I, I think Haunting of Hell House was too. Um, I, I think all all those 99 movies were remakes, I think, except The Blair Witch Project. And that's why it's like, oh, wow, a good movie. Interesting. Somebody did something new for once. But anyway, that was the 90s and it was a whole thing. Everybody, we are done with four rounds. We have four questions left in the game. So grab a drink, grab a snack. We are coming back with the final four right after this, everybody. So stay tuned. All right, everybody. Round number five. Famous quotes. That's right. Four questions dedicated to famous quotes, famous lines that Tim Curry has spoken in movies. So for this one, for sure, this is going to be the faster you click, the more you score. Go with your gut. You might get it right. Hopefully you might even fire up that party light again. Round number five, famous quotes. And yeah, that's right. Four more questions. Four questions left in the game. We got Corn Relish now on top of the leaderboard. BJX001, Unicorns, Mizuo AMVs, Mappy1984, S Keith 2210 Mandy Ray Designs, Alexa Machine, Xyla Girl, and Callie Tam rounding out the top 10. We are doing it again. The last four questions again. Famous quotes. And we're starting with this one right here. Question number 17. Here we go. Faster you click, the more you score. Good luck, everybody. We're doing it. What movie is the following Timmy Quir Tim Curry quote from? Communism. <clears throat> wow. Communism was just a red herring. Question number 17. Fast you click, the more you score. What movie is this quote from? Communism was just a red herring. There's your four choices. Fast you click, the more you will score. There it is, Alexis Machine first on the draw. That was easy. That's what I'm talking about. And just like that, time is up. First question, yep. First question of the round. And uh, yes, communism was just a red herring. And of course, the correct answer, you got points if you knew it was Clue. That's right, Clue. And. Oh, wow. A couple of people going with Hunt for Red October. One person going with Loaded Weapon 1, but no, communism was just a red herring. That's Clue. That's a line from a couple play, a couple, a couple of people use it in the movie, but Wadsworth definitely says it a few times depending on the ending. But, oh, Catley Tam, late coming back. Yeah, that's what's up. Clue is one of my absolute all-time. Now, this is my favorite Tim Curry movie, hands down, 100%. It's definitely Clue. Uh, so that's question number 17. Communism was just a red herring. That's a quote from the movie Clue. Let's keep it moving. Question number 18. Don't forget, faster you click, the more you score. At Blas, hey, how are you doing? Good to see you. All right, question number 18. Faster you click, more you score. Wrong answers only in the chat. Keep them going. Next question of the game. What movie is this quote from? It's the Lost City of Zinge, which I have looked for all my life. It's the Lost City of Zinge, which I have looked for all my life. Question number 18. What movie is this quote from? Again, it's the lost city of Jin, Zinj, which I've looked for all my life. That should have an apostrophe in that it's. I just realized that. My, my mistake, there should be an apostrophe in there. BJX, yes! <laughs> All right, and just like that, time is up on question number 18, and this time you're going to get the points. If you do this one, the correct answer was, in fact, Congo. Yeah, Congo. Way to go if you got that. Way to go if you knew that's right. The Lost City with the diamonds, the Lost City of Zinge. That's Congo. Way to go if you got it. Way to go if you knew that's Congo. All right, we got just two. Two more questions left in the game. That face, oh, yeah. Mappy, I... 
looked for a best resolution screenshot I could get given the amount of time I had. Like, no, I, yeah, I definitely wanted to get that exact moment for this image. Uh, yeah, without a doubt. So yeah, there it is. Congo. Um, yeah, I had to find that screenshot and I'm glad I did. So yes, that's question number 18. Two, just two questions left. Here we go. Question number 19. Next chance to score. Let's do it. Question number 19. What movie is this quote from? Oh, the red hot gates of hell are creeping open. Satan is heating his pokers for you. For you, you blasphemes heathens. Fall down on your knees and beg for deliverance from damnation. What movie is that quote from? Oh, the red hot gates of hell are creeping open. Satan is heating his pokers for you. For you, you blaspheming heathens. Fall down on your knees and beg for deliverance from damnation. What movie is that quote from? It is Footloose, Alexis. I love it. Oh, I could do it. That's not even a delivery. That's 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 me delivering it. That's not even me trying to deliver it. I'm not chewing scenery here. <laughs> Time is up on question number 19. And um, we're just here. Oh, the red hot gates of hell are creeping open. Satan is hating his bunkers for you. you Blasphemous heathens, fall down on your knees and beg for deliverance from damnation! Very good. You're forgiven. Now untie me! And let's go find the treasure! Yeah. So the correct answer, points are going to you if you knew the right answer, was clearly Muppet Treasure Island. And oh man, as long John Silver, yeah, I mean, just the epic performance and then some. I mean, and there you go. That's question number 19. Let's just keep it going. Last question, number 20. This one's worth all the money. Let's do it. Last question of the night. Can't you just see it? Don't dream it. Be it. What movie is that quote from? Can't you just see it? Don't dream it. Be it. The faster you click, the more you score. What movie is that quote from? I know you love this movie, Ablaz22. <laughs> Alexis Machine, I know. <laughs> that was easy. Ablaz, first time I saw this movie was with you, and you had already seen it like 20 times. BJX, I got gotcha. you. That was easy. And just like that, time is up on the final question of the game. And points are going to you this time if you knew. Of course, it's the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Yes. Oh, wow. Two people guessed the Rugrats movies. Oof. Oh, can't you just see it? Don't dream it. Be it. Jesus Gato Kitty hosting the stream. Thank you so much, GGK. Appreciate that as always. Great to see you and thanks for coming through. That's right. The Rocky Horror Picture Show. Yeah. Following the uh, whatever happened to Fay Ray number and of all this and the floor show. Can't you just see it? Don't dream it. Be it. That's the line. There it is. That's the final question of the night. Here we go. Let's find out who tonight's big winner is. And with a grand total of 291,000 points, it's Corn Relish. Yeah. Way to go, Corn Relish. Tonight's big winner. Shout out to BJX Mizuo Unicorns, Map 1984. I am Bart. S-M-R-T. Corn I mean, Relish. S-M-A-R-T. Yes, with the flex. Corn Relish. Thank you so much. Corn Relish again. BJX, Mizu AMVs, Unicorns, Mappy 1984, SK2210, Alexis Machine, Bob and Mermaid, Mandy Ray, Zyla Girl, Abla, CB4K, Catley Tam, Hulk Plague, Jamantha Claus, Awesome Tracks, It's M, Spook 86 and 4, Push the Fisherman. Hey, you guys. Thank you so much for coming through. I had a blast. Hopefully, you did too. We are back tomorrow night with another 20 question pop culture trivia channel. Challenge. Movies, music, TV, sports, all your favorites tomorrow night. Same smart time, same smart channel right here. You all know where we're at. Uh, hey, Corn Relish, I'm going to send you the link to redeem for your t-shirt, but who should we bring the raid on over to? Let's bring the party with all the smarties on over to another streamer. Uh, yeah, Corn Relish, who should we raid? Let's bring this party on out.
Night Bob and Mermaid, take care. Oh, it's DJ. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. I, he posted in. He posted that in um my Discord earlier. I totally forgot. We're doing that. DJ Hopkins. Yeah. All right, everybody. So we're gonna bring the party on over to DJ Hopkins' place. Thank you again so much for coming. Big shout out to Corn Relish. Let me see a whole bunch of GGs in the chat as we bring it on out. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for playing. I hope you had as much fun playing, playing as I did hosting. See you all tomorrow night. Cheers, everybody. Let's see all those GGs as we go out.